Hey everybody, welcome to Test Chamber. I'm Kyle Hillier. Ben Reeves is here. Hello. We're playing uh, Ukulele's Toy Box, which was recently given to backers of the Ukulele Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is it's not a level uh, from the game or anything. It, well, it is a level, but this isn't a level that's going to appear in the final game. This is basically a way for people to get an early look at the game and play around with ukulele and try him out or him and her out. It's a toy and, box. Yeah, and see how they control. And then you kind of, I don't even know if there are any enemies in here. It's um, kind of similar to the thing they brought to E3, I believe, right? Yeah, they, this is something they showed like uh, on, I don't think they had this at E3, uh, but they, they showed it on video and stuff like that. Let's see. Who's this guy? So that he's like a little robot that is he's like the only other character here in this toy box who kind of gives you like a little bit of tutorial. Okay. And he was just telling me how to fly. So he's like the brand new PC they were talking about. I remember doing a story on this the other day and they were they mentioned a brand new NPC that nobody's seen before. That must have been him. So I can collect these feathers. I'm not quite sure what they do yet here in this toy box. And this is kind of a weird little area. I've played this for a couple minutes now. I haven't oh, really... I love that pushing animation. Oh, it's so good. Hey, man, this is a, you know, pre-alpha. Ukulele toy box pre-alpha. do it. But this is interesting. You get like a little... Okay. This is kind of like a puzzle area. I guess there'll be stuff kind like this of. in the game. Let's see. So if you had pushed it the wrong way... I would have been F-U-N-N-E-D. F-U-N. Fund. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Wade can fix that in post. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I guess I guess there's how, gonna be like little areas like how this. How much have you explored of this? Not much. I've probably been playing for like oh, ten minutes or so. Okay. Just to kind of get a handle on it. There's the the guy, the little robot guy. You can talk to him. And he's got like the little banjo kazooie weird voice. You know, this game's a lot like banjo kazooie. I don't know if you knew that, Reeves. I do. Uh, I like banjo kazooie a fair amount. What about yeah, you? I do too. I I I really love that game. And I played it a lot when I was young, but I never I never actually finished it in a weird in a weird way. Even though I played a ton of it. Um, but I always really enjoyed it. I was more of like uh, in that sort of ongoing battle of uh, like Super Mario 64 versus Banjo Kazooie. Uh huh. Uh, I'm definitely on the Super Mario 64 side. That's a that's a war that's being fought, right? Is it a war? I don't know. I don't know if it is. I know actually Tim was always kind of arguing for Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. So let's look at some of. But he's gone now, so. Yeah, we don't. Who cares about him? Let's I... look at. Oh no! Go, please go ahead. I Maurice. will say, if you stop interrupting me, uh, that well, let me uh, talk to you about this. Then. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I liked Banjo Kazooie a fair amount. I never finished it for some reason, uh, but half of what I'm excited about in this game is like, I would say half of what will make this good is like the controls, and then the other half would be like level design. Mm -hmm. uh, it's obviously not quite as simple as that, but uh, I think this will probably give people a good idea of how it feels. Right? Yes. But maybe not as good of an idea of what their levels are going to be like. So yeah. how does it feel? It feels really good. And I was actually skeptical of, um, uh, like, seeing videos of it being played and stuff like that. Like, just, it looked almost kind of slow. And I was like, uh, that could be bad news. I mean, bad controls in a platformer is just like, that's it. You're done, you know? But this feels really great. I like the way it controls a lot. Um, we can look at some of his moves here. So he's got, you know, you can run. Most characters can run in games. I like this a lot. You can roll endlessly, as near as I can tell. Oh, that's cool. So which, it's like a faster movement speed. Yes, which I guess you could maybe kind of equate to like walking as Kazooie and Banjo Kazooie, you know, where she carries uh, Banjo. What do you think of that noise? Uh, it's a nice callback to Banjo Kazooie. I might get a little obnoxious. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, oh, it's kind of cute, but I'm thinking like if I have to play the whole game with that noise, like, I'm gonna yeah. get sick of that. So the other, so you have, you know, you have a double jump, which Banjo couldn't do uh, in the mo in the traditional double jump way. Uh, Banjo could do this, where it kind of Kazooie would float him around. Mm -hmm. In fact, at the end of this video, I think we're gonna put Banjo and uh, Banjo Kazooie side by side with ukulele. Oh, we'll compare some. Of Kyle, you spoiled it. Oh, uh, oh gosh, hey, I'm sorry. Hey, go up there. Up there. Let's I think see we, we should get platform up there. Up there. Okay. So oh, the basic oh. movement around feels pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. It, um, I like there was a. The test is always like, am I if there's a difficult to hit platform, am I going to be able to make it without having to struggle too much? Mm -hmm. And like this right here, I feel like that's the case. Like in in, in a game that did not control well, that would have been very difficult to do, uh, but it was not here. Great. Yeah. And so I'm so I'm very out of the gate. First thing to say about ukulele is I think it controls really well, and that is hugely important for a 3D platformer. 
Uh, so let's see. Let's go up here. I think the blue areas. Okay, yeah. So I got to roll up the blue areas. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of like here, you got to use this mechanic in yeah. these areas. I will say, uh, I'm glad there's a few like real art pieces in there, like those arches in the back. Yeah. At uh, least to just kind of give an example of what they're going. Yeah, for, we're kind of you know? going for this in our levels ultimately. Oh, this looks tricky. Because otherwise, just a bunch of like boxes. Oh no! Oh, that didn't go well. Okay. That's tough. Let's see. So is jumping into the ball just like pressing a button? Or? Yeah, you just hold down the right trigger. Ooh. Oh. Or we can Kyle. try some swimming. I think ukulele. I don't think at least in this in the toy box here, they don't um, die. They don't die. Yeah. I mean that could change for the final game. And this actually is, I, I believe, exactly how it controls in Banjo-Kazooie as well. I mean, I know I keep comparing the two, but, you know, hey, they started that comparison first, so I'm going to finish yeah, it Yeah, this is them. their fault. Yeah. I do miss these colorful, cartoony platformers. I feel like the platformer genre has kind of evolved into this weird, like, there's a lot of Uncharted and, like, I don't know, Assassin's Creed type gameplay that people sure. are doing, but not a lot of people are doing this kind of just classic platformer. I, I mean, when was the last really good... I don't know. Platformer like this we had, like Mario Galaxy? I guess, uh, oh, I, I really liked Mario 3D World a lot. Um, but that even, that feels a little different than the sort of, like, something like this. Right. Like a Mario 64, like a Banjo-Kazooie, you know? Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this kind of, like... You're faster. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh. Does the breeze make you feel alive, users? Users? All right, that's fine. Is, are we... Users? Do we have a drug problem? Uh, yeah. We We're addicted to Yuka Lily. So Yuka is the green one? Yeah, the chameleon. Okay. And Laylee is the bat. Uh, Yuka is a boy. Laylee is a girl. Oh, they got a little thing going on? I don't think so. Oh, gosh. This is like... Oh, what is this? How are you going to do this, Kyle? Maybe know. if you're not rolling? Yeah. Oh, I can't stop rolling. Oh, that's interesting. So that's like, it kind of locks me into that roll. Let's see if I can get out of here. How so? Oh, when you're in the fog, it locks oh. you in? Yeah, like I couldn't get out of it. It's weird. He did get out. He or she. I don't know. How, what do I refer to them? They, I guess? Sure. They're friends. Oh, that's another like classic 3D platforming move right there. Like you have sure. to include that, you know? Um, you could say that they sort of benefit each other, right? The uh, ukulele? Yeah. Yeah. Because you can they work fly. Together. Uh, I don't know what the lizard provides. But they're kind of like friends with benefits, <laughs> I don't know right? what the lizard provides. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's fair to say. The tail bounce, that's what they provide. Yeah, uh, I think now that I haven't found, unless it's like unlocked, so to speak, in like a tutorial or something, apparently uh, Yuka can use his tongue to like eat enemies and absorb their powers. Uh, really? Like a Kirby oh. style thing? Yeah, maybe. What was that? Oh, those are red balls, Kyle. You oh, know you can't okay. touch red balls, right? I, I, today I've learned. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Is there anywhere else to go explore around here? Oh, can't go in there. Let's see. Well, it's kind of an interesting look at the game. I, I mean, I kind of wish it was more complete level, but like yeah. a real, like here's what the game's gonna be like mission-wise, or like here's how you're gonna have to like navigate a world and. This is what the final thing is going to look like. But yes, yeah. It seems like the mechanics are at least coming together. The important thing that this sort of the toy box sells, and it doesn't pitch itself as being anything more than just like a chance to control a ukulele, is it like lets you know that these characters, it feels good to move these characters around the world, mm -hmm. uh, which really gives me a lot of optimism for the game. So um, let's, let's, uh, let's jump ahead here. One more place that I found earlier that I want to check out. This is an area that you have to swim under water to get in here and it was like a chest and a bridge so this is what bridges will look like in the final game that's cool huh all right I'm so excited you're in the bridges wondering. you're always is, talking about how much you love bridges is Laylee's nose is she sick a little bit is she sick, sick? She's i think she's an alcoholic little... actually uh, Ooh. <laughs> in a kid's game come on hey you know i mean they're they got all they all they have to answer to is their kickstarter backers right so <laughs> that's right yeah and how many of them are kids <laughs> At heart. Uh-oh, here we go. Now things are getting tricky. That's good. That was a good jump. I'm compliment myself. Oh, there's a jump over there. Let's see. So I'm if you were going to pair two animals together, what two would you pick? <laughs> Maybe a chameleon and like a bat? Those are the two? Yeah. 
<laughs> Do you have an answer to that question off the top of your head? Uh, Do you think about this a lot? I don't know. Maybe a hedgehog and a bandicoot. Oh, uh, okay. What are what are the Jack and Daxter characters? They're like elves <laughs> or something. This seems like dangerous. I did like uh, Daxter. Like I always thought he was really. Oh funny. yeah, the Otzel. Yeah, and I don't know, just the way he would like move around really fast. This is fun. Look at that. We're having so much fun, Cal. Yeah. So the, I think there is something to be unlocked if I get like these menus so Banjo Kazooie esque. Uh, I have 61. Is there anywhere I haven't been yet? Have you been up there? Let's see. Did I make? I never. You know what? I never did make my way up here, did I? Let's go up here. I don't. I, I know I screwed it up last time, Reeves, but I hope you'll have faith in me. I'll give you two tries. Well, two tries. there you go. Okay. Well, this was. This one was the tricky this one. Is the, here. Mm, I think it's the next one actually that you had problems with. What? How did I? Okay. So the. Trick you gotta like. I gotta keep, keep rolling. Going? Or can you? Oh! Can you jump when you're in ball form? Uh, I did, yeah, you can. Let me try this again. I, man, I feel like I can do this. How well can you turn in ball form? Not that well. That's what's giving me problems here. So I can get out of ball form. And once you're sliding down the thing, you can't ball up. That's right. right. All right, let's see. Can you jump? Cool. Fly. That was the way to go. Yeah, that's good. I did it. Yeah, good Where job. Where did I Kyle. fall here? Where am I? Uh -huh. Don't. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. There we go. All right. Can this you is... jump off that, fly for a second to reface, and then ball up before you land? See. Is that too complicated? It doesn't look like... You have to, like, have footing to ball up, hmm. right? Like, I can't go into a ball, like, okay. before landing. This is, like, now... I have to do this now, Reeves. Like, mm. I don't care if this test chamber takes five minutes or five years. We're going to do this. You no, know, you got a podcast to do at some point. Eh, Kyle, I think this is more important. I have a, a home mm. and... Uh, but imagine how much groceries. money you save if you didn't have a home. That's true. What if we were skeletons? <laughs> oh, 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 Kyle! You didn't believe oh. me. Remember all those times I said I believed in you? <laughs> Hooray! Oh man, there's there's a whole new world up here. There's so much to see and do. A whole new world. Oh, there's another thing over there. Oh, what is this? Is this a? Are you a puzzle? Dear friend? Seriously, though, what are you? Oh, solved it. I guess. Good job, Kyle. I dropped. Maybe you need that. Oh, do to I know need to... where the purple area is? Maybe. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm like, now I'm like really into trying Kyle, to. Kyle, you're like really out. into this game all of a sudden. I know. I want to get all the, the leaves. All right, we're going to do this. Game Look, yeah, see? Suckered you in. See, once I get it up there. Okay, here we go. This is like real time. You're like watching me. Get into a game. Is yeah, that is that what it is? Yeah, <laughs> this is what it's like, everybody. In case anyone's curious, man, what is it like when Kyle starts enjoying a game? Oh, what is that like? <laughs> uh, and what oh. does it look like when Kyle stops enjoying a game? Looks kind of like this. Is that what's happening right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this ball moment. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay, Kyle, you got ball. Okay, you got ball. Oh, thanks. I think. Do you think I can do this one? Is this another five minutes, five years situation? No. You just got to push it up the thing. It looks so easy. Mm, I don't easier, like the way you're going there. Easier looked than said or performed. Camera's a little wonky. All right. Oh, Kyle. Stay. Kyle, no. no! <sighs> Dang it. I like this less than what I was just doing a few minutes ago. <laughs> you're so fickle. <laughs> Ugh, this game sucks. How are you with your kid? Is she like, ah, I don't like you as much as I did. Yeah, that's before, kind of that's uh, parenting though. Yeah. In general. So. Oh gosh, I'm so close. Don't you care fall. Off the edge. You're gonna open that glass door and you're gonna give me feathers. Glass door. Yeah, you see the glass oh, yeah, door there? Yeah, yeah. Alright. We got it. Good job. Yes! Hey. Boom. 70. I wonder how many are here. Are there a hundred? Reeves? You know, right? Oh, I know. I'm not gonna tell you though. Oh, are we gonna actually collect them all in this test chamber? No, probably not. I think we're good. So that's uh, that's ukulele's toy box, which, like I said, it is a went out to backers, um, who you know put down money to have the game developed, and it gives you a good sense of uh, how ukulele plays, which I think 
it plays pretty well. Cool. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're actually going to take a look at uh, this game and kind of put it alongside Banjo-Kazooie and compare some of the moves. Because it really is, I mean, not that there was was not an expectation of them being similar, but uh, they're really close uh, in cool ways. So thanks for joining me, Ven Reeves. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. All right. Thanks. Huh? 